This week on Sail Away, it's time for an all-day passage. We are getting out of Salinas. We are going to Vieques today. We didn't plan on doing it so fast. Today it's a little less on the nose. We should be getting wind a little more from the southeast. Hand line set, see if we can keep our streak alive. And as we leave mainland PR, we take a look at how being sailors and being travelers on a sailboat are two very different things. How are you enjoying the ride so far, my lady? And we explain the four main points that we think define the difference. We are travelers more than we are just sailors. What's that noise? The sound of silence. Because sometimes the pure joy of sailing is merely the reward for a well-executed passage. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. We entered this life as two experienced sailors who really love to sail. But we eventually discovered that we are truly travelers aboard a sailboat. And those are actually two very different things. That is the sun coming up. It is 6.30. We are getting out of Salinas. We are going to Vieques today. We didn't plan on doing it so uh, fast. We're gonna do another short hop, but with the wind and with the waves, today looked like a better day, and tomorrow um, would have been a lot wavier and a lot rougher. So we're just gonna do the full 10 hours right in a row from here straight to the Eke's. As you can tell right now, there is no wind. Um, and it is super flat, but the wind is supposed to pick up a little bit today and it actually might be coming a little bit more from a direction that we could sail, which would be cool because we haven't done that in a long time. Sorry, there's a disturbance in the water. I'm trying to see if it's a manatee or not. Let's see. Some kind of fish feeding. Anyway, I think. I think it might be a ray. But uh, because we knew that we were leaving early, we got all of our, we got our dinghy up last night and we're relatively ready to go. Eric's making breakfast, I think. Coffee and things. And I'm just up here talking, so I guess I should go help. I definitely don't drive the boat as much as Eric does, but it's nice and calm. We switch it up sometimes. I know I could do it if the uh, shit hit the phone. I think that's good enough. I could unanchor and re-anchor. Okay. Take me on if shit were to hit the fan. I do have an anchor remote. So theoretically, if one person was out, we would be able to do the same kind of like Never done before. Difference number one. Sailing itself is not our life, but this boat is. And sometimes that means in order to take care of it, we have to be particular places at particular times. And also to be able to facilitate a bit of normalcy at times like the holidays. Alright. We're up. So, um, see you in about 10 hours, yeah, Kate. If they're right at about sundown. So, we probably won't see very much tonight. But it'll be cool to be able to be there and then you're one step closer to getting to St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands for Christmas. So we'll be able to set up a mailbox and get just the last little bit of Christmas presents and batteries because that would be the best Christmas to get that. And then 
since we, as long as we get our batteries and get everything working correctly, um, so we'll be ready to go down the island chain, down to the ABCs, and over to Colombia, and then up to Central America, and that's the next leg of this plan. Um, that's what we get to look forward to for 2022. Difference number two. While sailing is all about the pure joy of harnessing the wind to power your vessel whatever direction you may be going, passage making is definitely about getting there. A little bit of clouds and stuff out there. Hopefully we don't get wet today. But you know, wouldn't be the first time. As much as we enjoy passages and love to sail as much as we can, an awful lot can happen while you're out there. The safest passage is still always the one that gets you there the fastest. Sometimes sailing is just one component in that equation. Well, we have not been up with the sun to sail in a while. We've tried to get up mornings a couple of times just to get moving, but uh, yeah, seven o'clock, I think we were pretty much wheels up, so to speak. And now we are just heading to Vieques, as I'm pretty sure Lauren already told you. Here's the situation on the map. So we're coming out of Salinas right here. And uh, today, we should have pretty light wind. No matter what, it's on the nose. But today, it's a little less on the nose. We should be getting wind as the day progresses a little more from the southeast. So instead of hugging the coast all the way over to Vieques and across, I think we're going to go out just a little bit in the hopes that as that wind turns we can make a gentle turn and get some sailing in or at the very least some successful motor sailing which is always nicer. The boat handles a lot better, it's a lot smoother ride um, and you don't, have to, you don't have to motor as fast so you save a lot of fuel even if you're just motor sailing. Um, so when going into the wind like that and, you know, we got a nine to 10 hour sail going into a harbor we've never been in. So it's a, you know, it's a big harbor. It's well used. I, it wouldn't be a big deal coming in at night, but we still try to avoid it. So, you know, we're not gonna mess around. We're not gonna go out, tack out to the ocean a dozen times trying to get to Vieques at three in the morning. But we're gonna get there, so. We're definitely going to motor the first third of this, and if we get lucky, maybe we'll be able to sail the rest. If not, we'll put the sails up and get some help from them, and by that time, I'm guessing we'll probably have some waves, and the sails will help with that too. So, there is the game plan. Shouldn't see more than, like, Wendy says, 10 knots, and that means out here, yeah, probably 15. They never, they're always about 5 under, seems like. We'll see. Right on cue. You the woman. Thank you. Ow! It's hot! Ow! Ow! Got the hand line set. Let's see if we can keep our streak alive. How many fish would you like to catch today? I don't want to catch like too many. Then I feel kind of like bad, kind of guilty about it. I just want one. I just want to that's very unselfish of you. We have a freezer full right now. So we really I don't do. want to be. I'm not saying we throw back a mahi or a mackerel. No, no, but we yeah, I, wouldn't. But we had our wish. It would just be one nice. Our wishes for nice. fishes. It's just the tuna. Take a bite out. Well, that was quick. Lauren's bringing this one in. She claimed she was going to clean this one too, so. Oh, but I'm so clean. Yeah. Oh, little tuna. <laughs> shaking. He's so excited. Went close. Really? You're going to make me do it? You don't have to. I just thought you wanted to. Oh, no, I don't want to. Oh, okay. Not this morning. Right. I will next fish. I think it is. Move the fins up like that. And make a little tuna. 
Think so. Sorry, buddy. Or should I start making the rice now? Yeah, probably. Are we just gonna eat it? I don't know. Or chill it and have sushi for lunch. Yeah. Tastes like, like tuna? Yep. I'm gonna eat this before I camp. Did you eat it? Yeah, no sorry. One. It was good. Yep. Tastes like fish. Come here, Zeke. Right. No, that's all. Perfect travel breakfast. Pop <laughs> tarts. We are cruising along. We got anywhere from 12 to almost 16 knots of true wind. Sailing off the wind and a little farther south. So far has helped really well. We're getting a lot of help out of our main right now because we're going right into these waves and pretty much into the wind. But we're still doing five and a half to six knots uh, at just about 26, 2700 RPM. So definitely effective motor sailing right now. And the farther out from shore we get and the farther east, you can see the wind starting to track around to southeast a little bit. Once you get rid of that ridge of the southern coast, flattening it out, we should uh, get our wind shift, and then we'll be able to tack and head northeast to Esperanza, and hopefully be able to sail most of it, or be at least a more effective motor sail. Right now, man, we are watching a lot of fishing pots go by, fishing floats. Watch out for this. We missed one by about three feet a little bit ago. Difference number three, comfort. As a pure sailor, comfort is one of the farthest things from your mind. But as a cruising sailor, sometimes it's a combination of sails and motor that gives you the perfect balance of speed, direction, and stability to not be miserable for hours on end. Are you enjoying the ride so far, my lady? Been motor sailing pretty much the whole time and uh, now that we've, we've been turned over on this tack for a little while now and the boat is definitely I, mean, I just turned it down a little bit but we're only at about 2200 rpm and we're doing anywhere from six and a half to seven knots yeah we could we could definitely just sail there if we wanted but i'm kind of keeping the hammer down just to get us there by like four o'clock so well before sunset and yeah get all settled in eat some tuna we're gonna have some sushi when we get there and uh yeah just cruising along kind of keep playing with the throttle and playing with the sails keeping our speed up definitely saving a lot of fuel you know motor sailing is the next best thing to sailing just got a little bit of noise Difference number four, 
we need to make sure we continue to love to sail. And punishing ourselves with a difficult sail over hours of a long passage that could have been a lot shorter is a really easy way to ruin it. And now when the gods grant us a pure passage of nothing but sailing or just part of one, we truly savor it and love every minute. What's that noise? Sound of silence. The sound of silence. Everything is silent. Our child is silent. The boat is silent. The dog is silent. Yeah. Making it look good. We're uh, we're sailing, you know, into the harbor. After running our motor most of the way over. Six knots. Finally got the payoff from the, the big long tack out to the ocean and back in. Got chill. Our moment yeah. of sin. Except for that. It's done. It's done. passage in months. How many months? Maybe like 10. Yeah, Maybe probably like about 10. Passage drink. We earned it this time. It's a little rolly. A little rolly. This is Vieques. We just got here and it's a Monday. It's very quiet at the moment. But we're going to be extras in somebody's rock video or island life or something like that. There's some serious camera work going on at the little boat. I'd love to be on TV. <laughs> Never happened before. <laughs> Rivers and I had a nice swim off the back and while we were doing that mommy prepared our... <laughs> it's, it's now mostly eaten. We, we forgot to film when we first uh, sat down. Uh, our, our sushi meal with our little, uh, it's called like a little, little tunny. So what we got is soy sauce uh, and Lauren and I are using jalapeno paste in the soy sauce which is delicious and then a little bit of ginger paste and Lauren made the sushi rice. It uh, was going to be like our snack but it's almost seven o'clock now and it's Pretty filling because there was a lot of it. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> yeah. And a little tunny is pretty tasty. I don't know what kind of tuna or how related to tuna it is, or if it is a tuna, or if it just looks like a tuna. We will not hesitate to good. eat them again. It's good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. All right. We didn't make it ashore yet, but uh, tomorrow. Kick-ass art murals. It's a thing here in uh, Puerto Rico. It's really awesome. This horse is hanging out in the park. We'll go chat him up at the fence. Yep, he's off. Very pretty. Very islandy. Cool swing, doesn't it? Guys, 
gotta say, the shoreline along here really is pretty magical. It's funny, it doesn't look all that great from the boat, but then you get up here close and walk on it, either from the top or from down here, and it's just beautiful. Really pretty. And even the man made stuff. I don't think we're allowed in that door. It's a little forbidding looking. Uh oh. Good snack. You can do it! I will not take the low road. We're back at a downtown Esperanza, going for a little drink and take a look around and be a little bit of a tourist for a day. Go to a restaurant. One of those little lights is Cecilia. Probably that one right there. That uh, ticks off most of the boxes right there. Painkiller. We are moving kind of fast again, which is never really our preference. Doesn't agree with this particularly well. But this is the old thorny path, as they call it. And the thing is, we're trying to get to St. Thomas because we have, as always, in St. Thomas, a number of things that we need um, that are being delivered there um, in, in the process of getting a warranty Firefly battery and an additional battery uh, shipped to St. Thomas. And we're very strongly considering adding a wind generator onto our arch, a very economical one, uh, which I'll talk to you more about if we do it. I'll also get into the Firefly saga a little bit more later, but that in addition to, um, I think I'm gonna do, put a new membrane on our water maker and then Christmas items, things like that. Just better to have shipped in St. Thomas and it's growing near to Christmas time. Uh, we're, uh, what is it, December 3rd or 4th, something like that? Second. Second. And right now we are looking at leaving here tomorrow. We're gonna go enjoy the beach here and Two little bays over uh, is the Bio Bay, which Vieques is, is famous for. And we're going to try to go anchor over there today to do that tonight. So, yeah, we're just moving very quickly. Reason being, at this time of year, well, almost any time of year, following what they call the thorny path upwind to get to the islands, you have to go basically right into the wind on the nose to get where you want to go. So basically when you're sailing from someplace like here, Vieques to Charlotte Amalie and St. Thomas, we're going just a little bit northeast. So we're trying to look for a weather window where the wind is a little bit southeast so that we can maybe sail all the way there or at the very least have a good angle for motor sailing. And this time of year, going into December, we're getting very close to what they call the Christmas winds, and that's really just elevated winds coming from the predominant direction east, uh, 20 to 25 knots. A lot of the fronts that come through the entire Caribbean will elevate that even further. And so the more you get into winter, the harder it gets to go east. Now, yeah, you'd be like, yeah, you're a sailboat, just tack there, you know? That's what sailboats do, which is very true. But we are travelers more than we are just sailors. And 
yes, we could tack there, but we would be doing it against wind and against waves and against current. And while doable, that would make a five to six hour trip probably uh, 12 to 12 to 18. I mean, realistically, it can really knock you back that much trying to tack into that strong a wind and one and a half meter waves, you know, on the average. So it makes it difficult on people who really want to sail or have to sail. Those of us like us who don't mind motoring because our goal is to get where we need to be, preferably by sailing, because we love to sail and we love to sail, save diesel and, you know, reduce our footprint, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the reality is that we want to get where we need to go and punish ourselves the least amount possible while doing it. Because uh, it can be a rough, gruesome, exhausting way to go going into the wind. So the reason we need to go tomorrow is we have this slight dip in the wind speeds and a slight turn to southeast, which should allow us a pretty nice motor sail to get there. And right after that, the wind starts picking up into the mid-teens and up to the 20s for the next week, week and a half. And we just don't want to wait that long to get where we need to be, to get the things we need to do these projects and to be ready to make our next steps past the U.S. Virgin Islands after the holidays. So we're kind of rushing through Vieques a little bit, which is a bummer because it really is cool. It's really pretty. Uh, Esperanza is a really fun little town. Yeah, I think we could spend a couple weeks here easy, uh, just kind of chilling, hanging out in town, going to the beaches, doing that kind of stuff. But it kind of is what it is sometimes. We hope to get back to a life of uh, not rushing pretty soon. When it comes right down to it, as travelers aboard a sailboat, what we're really doing is just trying to manage our life in the best way we can, just like everybody else out there. Our love of sailing is what led us to this life, and we sail a lot, but sometimes we don't. And for us, that's just fine. As travelers, we're just trying to get where we need to go. And every destination truly has rewards that make it very much worth getting to quickly. Whether it's to get someplace we need to be to keep the boat in shape, someplace where I can work quietly, or just to get to a charming place like Vieques that much sooner, so we can live this life for all it's worth. And wash by the waters of Lake Michigan And wherever I go I will return again to my A huge thanks to all of our patrons and to you for watching. We really appreciate it. Now go check out sailawayvlog.com and get yourself some swag from the merchandise shop. Until next week, cheers y'all.